Well, it's time for a hike up Old Caves Crater on the Coconino National Forest. It's a little bit north of uh, Flagstaff, Arizona. Old Caves Crater is a cinder cone volcano and it rises about 400 feet above the valley floor. You can see the black cinders here, the volcanic cinders. Looks like the squirrels have been uh, feeding heavily on the uh, and these ponderosa pine twigs, got a whole lot of them cut down. Twigs have been peeled, eating the inner bark. Here the trail is just starting to go up the, along the base of the cinder cone. We're still in ponderosa pine, just at the very base of the, of the hill. But pretty soon we'll be uh, climbing out of the Ponderosa and into Pinion Juniper type. So this is the base of Old Caves Crater. It's a steep south facing aspect which is why it's uh, it's too dry for Ponderosa Pine so it's Pinion Pine and Juniper and shrubs and if we look just a little bit to the left is where we're pulling out of the Ponderosa Pine Forest. The Ponderosas are down at the bottom of the hill which is not very steep and so it's where all the water drains in the soil so it's got enough enough soil moisture in the hottest parts of the year to support Ponderosa Pine but as soon as the hill gets steep it gets too dry in the summer for Ponderosa. This will show how we are really on the edge between the Ponderosa switching over to the Pinion Juniper type. From this vantage point we can see all three types of volcanoes that are present in the San Francisco volcanic field near Flagstaff. The most common type is the one I'm standing on right now. It's Old Caves Crater. It's a cinder cone volcano and as it erupted it was pretty much like a giant uh, popcorn popper of molten rock just shooting up in the air and uh, forming a massive pile of cinders. The geologists think that Old Caves Crater only erupted for about a few years and it was done off to the southwest it is the second type of a volcano here. It's called a lava dome. Golden Mountain is a lava dome mountain. Instead of forming a giant pile of cinders, it didn't have as much gas. It had a very uh, st a more sticky kind of molten rock, which couldn't flow very far, so it just sort of oozed out over top of itself repeatedly until it formed a mountain about a thousand about 2,000 feet high. Eldon Mountain's only about a half a million years old. The third type of volcano here in the San Francisco volcanic field is only one. It's a stratovolcano, a super volcano, and sort of like uh, the big volcanoes in the in the Cascade Mountains, Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, etc. It was San Francisco Mountain, so it was it used to be much, much taller, and uh, it either had a, a big, uh, a big lateral blast, like uh, Mount St. Helens did, and it was also glaciated several times. You can also see the. Uh, a large portion of the Schultz burn from last June 
the Schultz fire. Now this is an interesting point on the trail because we've been coming up through this pinion juniper dry south facing slope and all of a sudden we're about to switch right back to ponderosa pine. Why is that? It's a steep slope. Why is there enough soil moisture for ponderosa to thrive? It's because now, instead of facing south, the slope is facing to the northwest. So it's much, much shadier. Retains much more of its soil moisture. And just in that quick of a space of a few feet, when the aspect changes, the soil moisture changes. We certainly had a good vantage point to uh, maybe look down on their crops, watch for enemies, whatever. And this was the last outpost of the Sanawa people. This is the last place they lived around here. It was getting drier and drier. Couldn't make it at, at farming anymore. So most of them moved east and later became the Hopi people. That away. It's a very nice trail for a nice little hike to get a good view. Very smooth trail. It's only uh, 1.2 miles from the trailhead to the top. So 2.4 round trip, 400 feet in elevation gain. So it makes for a nice bit of exercise in a very uh, pretty place. Have camera will wander.